What's going on guys, Billy here, and the Skydio 2 and 2 Plus are drones that just continue to get better. With every new firmware update, this drone receives new features that changes the overall functionality of the aircraft itself. In my opinion, the Skydio 2 and 2 Plus are some of the best investments that you can make when going out and purchasing a drone because Skydio doesn't focus on iterative hardware improvements over, you know, multiple releases of drones, but instead they focus on the drones they've made and improve them through software, therefore extending the lifespan of the drone that you purchase. Now for those that might be interested, here is the release notes for the newest update version 21.0.53 that introduces some new features, improves some features, and adds some much needed changes. You can go ahead and take a second to screenshot this if you need more time to read over it, because now we're going to be getting into what's changed here in this update. So the first edition is a brand new feature called Quick Launch, which makes taking off from your hand a whole lot easier. So I'm sure we've all been in that situation where you're trying to hand launch, you've got the Skydio in one hand, and you've got your remote controller in the other hand and you've got to kind of awkwardly pin the remote up against your body in order to take off. To get started with Quick Launch, we first jump into the settings, go to the drone section, and then scroll down to Quick Launch, which is just a simple toggle to turn it on or off. Without interacting with the remote, beacon, or phone at all, you can simply press the power button on the battery four times and the drone will slowly lift out of your hands and come to a hover ready to fly. Skydio also added a visual confirmation that the drone is ready to take off on the back LED that faces you. It lights up with a green LED each time you press the button so that you know when the drone is ready to take off. I think that this is going to be a really helpful feature no matter how you fly with your phone, the beacon, or the remote controller. And I know that personally, I'm looking forward to taking advantage of this feature when I'm out on construction sites flying my Skydio 2 and my Skydio 2 Plus. Usually the ground is just a total mess with dirt, sand, dust, debris. So I usually take off and land with my hand and this is going to make that whole process a lot easier. Moving on to a smaller change here, Skydio has also added a function to lock the beacon controls from the app on your phone by going to the settings, selecting beacon, and then turning on lock controls. This way you don't accidentally change the controls of your drone when the beacon is in your pocket or backpack. Now earlier this year, Skydio unveiled a brand new feature called Keyframe for the Skydio 2 and the Skydio 2 Plus that I still think is one of the most accurate and precise waypoint based flight systems in any drone available on the market. It's a great way to repeat movements and capture complicated shots that require a lot of movement with a push of a button. My one gripe was that while Keyframe as a feature is really powerful, it needed more customization to improve the function and luckily, Skydio is starting to do just that. So for one, you can now use Keyframe at a maximum speed of 29 miles per hour, which is almost triple the previous speed limit of 11 miles per hour. Right out of the gate, I notice such a big difference when the drone is zipping between points. It moves so much faster, obviously, but this opens the door for different shooting styles in which you can cover more distance in a shorter period of time. A route like this would take a good amount of time to complete, but now that I can fly it more quickly at basically three times the speed, it zips around from point to point really quickly and gets it done fast. One thing I do want to bring up just as kind of a side note though is that if you're going to have the drone jump between keyframes, the max speed when going from spot to spot is only 15 miles per hour, but because the drone is just kind of commuting between spots and not actually filming, this is a totally acceptable pace. I really do love to see Skydio continue to improve and support the keyframe function and I really can't wait to see where it is really where Skydio is as a whole in three to five years from now. And I think it'd be pretty cool to almost do like a Skydio only, keyframe only cinematic drone video. I think that that could be pretty interesting and pretty challenging at the same time. Now the next change to keyframe is the ability to change your speed on the fly by using the right joystick. Jumping into the keyframe settings, there are two different options, relative and absolute speed. With absolute speed, you can move the right joystick from left to right to control the speed. When you provide stick input, the drone will move, but as soon as you let the stick come to the center, the drone will come to a stop. Basically, the further you push the joystick, the faster the drone will fly. Now the next speed can control mode is relative, which lets you increase and decrease the speed using the right joystick. So you can push it to the right to increase the speed, and then you can push it to the left to decrease your speed. And once you recenter that joystick, the drone will continue on at its current speed. So it's unlike absolute in that regard. Now this can kind of be achieved by using the slider on the screen as well, but changing the speed using the joystick is more precise using that physical method of control. I really am still blown away by keyframe as a whole, as well as the performance of the Skydio as it's moving from point to point 
point. The gimbal is nice and smooth. Of course, the colors from the camera pop, and overall, it gives you a really easy way to capture cinematic shots that otherwise you might not be able to just because your flight skills aren't as refined. Now, the final improvement made is to the case landing feature, which was added by Skydio in a previous software update, but has now been made better. For those that haven't seen this yet, the drone is able to detect the Skydio logo on the case and recognize that that is where it should land. It really doesn't matter what altitude you try and land from, and even if you're off by a little, the drone will still recognize the logo and make a perfect landing every single time. Like I mentioned earlier, I do a lot of work on job sites, so this is an awesome way to minimize the amount of dust that is kicked up as the drone lands on a nice clean surface. So as for the change that was made here in this firmware update, Skydio basically made it harder to accidentally nudge the drone off of its locked on target being the case. So you need to provide over one second of stick input to actually move the drone off of its target. Even if you do accidentally move the drone off course, you can reselect the case as a landing point by selecting the blue icon and that orange circle will come back into frame confirming that it's trying to land on the case. So there are some super cool changes and improvements made here in this firmware update, but there is still one more thing we've got to mention on the release notes and it is something that I've been asking for since like the release of the Skydio 2 back when it first came out and that is when you're charging the drone turn the gimbal off so here with the Skydio 2 right this one is on the old firmware version when the drone is here charging just sitting here the gimbal is still on like as I move the drone the motors are active they are constantly moving you know the camera and stabilizing it but now on the new firmware version here on the new Skydio 2 plus I've updated this drone the gimbal is nice and relaxed. So that means you can keep your gimbal guard on, you can charge it, and you don't have to worry about accidentally bumping the motor and damaging the camera and the gimbal. So guys, there we have it. That is the newest update here to the Skydio 2 and the Skydio 2 Plus. A lot of great changes, a lot of great quality of life improvements, and I cannot wait to see what Skydio continues to do with these drones because they continue to add brand new features all of the time. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.